Brilliance Audio presents the unabridged recording of The Importance of Being Little, What Preschoolers Really Need from Grown-Ups by Erica Christakis, performed by Terry Schnaubelt. For Eleni, Lysander, and Sebastian, who know childhood. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wildflower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. William Blake, Auguries of Innocence, 1803 Preface The important thing about young children is that they are powerful. They are lovable, playful, changing, and vulnerable. But the most important thing about young children, I believe, is their power. I see this strength in the lively little children mowing me down to push the elevator buttons at the museum, and in the nosy ones who fire their flummoxing questions at me rat-a-tat like a snare drum. I see it in the poetic children who imagine possibilities inside a garbage dumpster, and in the loose-limbed ones sprawled across the subway car like they own the joint, their flushed faces pressed into the vinyl on my side of the seat. I see power in difficult and miserable children, too. The four-year-olds throwing tantrums in the supermarket, and the toddlers howling with stiffened extremities as the airplane begins its grief-making drop in altitude. I love young children's power, which is not to say that it doesn't burden or annoy me at times, because it does— but my faith in these strong, small characters drives this book, and it drives my desire to improve the lives of young children and to alleviate the anxieties of those caring for them, not with magic or money, but with real insights about what we know goes on inside children's heads. The importance of being little grew from my experiences as a preschool teacher and director, and from my current work in early childhood education at Yale's Ziegler Center in Child Development and Social Policy, a branch of the famous Yale Child Study Center founded by the father of the American child development movement, Arnold Gazelle. I'm enormously privileged to work in such a storied environment where I teach college courses on child development and education policy, but my concerns with early learning have more humble roots— I wanted to teach young children since I was a little girl myself and passed long hours instructing my stuffed animals in what I thought were the essentials of a good kindergarten education. Mainly, I put them in straight lines and read to them.